Hi, I'm Rob, one of the engineers here at NRD. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Ionization Monitor Model 1000, the first of the IonMaster family of ionization products. I'm really excited about IonMaster because we now have a method to measure the performance of our ionizers that's quick and nimble and easy to move from bench to bench. It has a type of resolution you've been looking for. It works with all kinds of ionizers, not just the NRD ionizers. We're all familiar with the charge plate monitor, but it does pose some challenges. So it's nice to finally have an alternative to monitor ionization performance that avoids many of these potential issues. So let's see how the IonMaster monitor works. The first thing you need to do is set up the Model 1000, is connect the cables and ground it like this. Next, you'll need to turn on your tablet, open the application, and allow it to warm up for approximately 10 minutes. If everything is connected properly, the launch screen will go away and you'll see your interface window. Now you're ready to start monitoring. To do this, just place the sensor in front of your ionizer with the arrow on the sensor as your guide for positioning. It should be placed perpendicular to the airflow, like this, with the sensor within 18 inches of your ionizer to ensure an accurate reading. That's important to remember because not all setups will look like this over in ionizers, for example. So, you always need to make sure you're pointing the sensor into the airflow. Keep in mind, the sensor needs to remain motionless while monitoring. Looking at the screen here, you can see you're able to view your monitoring information in two formats. We can just click here to toggle between the summary page and the XY axis graph. The summary page shows a three bar graph displayed in real time, balance, and decay rates. And the XY axis graph is another view of the same information. With IonMaster, the max data range for ion balance is minus 30 to plus 30 volts, and the maximum upper decay time is 120 seconds. To change these limits, simply click on the number and enter your new value. The top right has a min and max values recorded during your session. To reset the values, just click on the reset min max values on the summary page. Now watch what happens when I move the sensor like this. IonMaster gives us the ability to move the sensor closer and further away from the ionizer to meet the established parameters that you have for measuring and monitoring the ionizer, all in real time. Just remember, after you locate the best distance, to keep the sensor motionless for a complete reading. Of course, if you want to ensure you always stay within these parameters, you can leave a monitor right at your workbench and detect issues in real time. That is crucial. So it's important to have a way to save. To do that, just hit the Start Record button. The timer will count down for the amount of time data is being recorded, and then press Stop when you're finished. The longer you let the timer go, the more data points you can save. Upon reviewing the results, you can press download, and this will save the data on your tablet as a CSV file using the standard Windows features. If you question the results, you can press reset and start the process over again. If you're checking multiple ionizers, just do the same for each. Then you can transfer at one time all the saved CSV files to your company system to track historical performance data. And that's it. It's all pretty intuitive, and I hope you found this helpful. And I really hope you like the IonMaster Ionization Monitor Model 1000.